Welcome to the USAA Insurance Halftime. Breaking news tonight. John Gruden out as Las Vegas Raiders head coach. Adam, what were the developments tonight that led to this? It started on Friday when John Gruden's email about Demora Smith, the executive director of the NFLPA, came out. And he used a racist trope to describe Demora Smith. Now, today, the NFL said it was closely monitoring the situation and there were more emails that were sent to Las Vegas Raiders owner Mark Davis. Those emails were full of racism, homophobic slurs, sexism. He offended NFL owners, the commissioner, and the league was on standby waiting to see what Mark Davis would do. Well, about two, three hours ago, Mark Davis arrived at the Raiders facility asked to meet with John Gruden, and John Gruden is out in a development that I think everybody could see coming today from the moment the New York Times reported on those additional emails later on today that in which John Gruden insulted a whole host of people, Booger. You know, and I think this is something that, that had to happen. Uh, and when you look at the NFL and the progress that the NFL has made over the last decade, is especially over the last 24 months, they've made so much progress. And for John Gruden to come out and... This is something they couldn't deny. This is in emails where you're going against what the NFL is trying to do. In the end zone, the players have stickers on their helmets and they have phrases in the end zone, end racism, stop hate. It takes all of us, inspire change. So we're trying to get rid of the very things that John Gruden is promoting through his personal mm -hmm. emails. And so uh, this is something that had to happen. I think a lot of people in the Raiders organization are relieved it happened because if it didn't happen, it was going to be constant questions over and over and over, and that's unfair to everyone except John Gruden. On Friday, when the first email about Demora Smith surfaced, I had two teams call me to say that John Gruden couldn't and wouldn't survive this. I think the NFL watched over the weekend the way this all developed. Chris Mortensen reported on Sunday there were additional emails. Yes. And then the contents of these emails surfaced from the New York Times, and there was no way that John Gruden could stay on as the head coach of the Oakland Raiders, he's out four years into a 10-year contract, and his ouster comes, essentially, ironically, during Monday Night Football. And Adam, it, this isn't just about emails in 2011. This is a... It's, it's a pattern. Susie, yes. these are emails that spanned seven years. They were sent to the former Washington football team executive, Bruce Allen, and they displayed a certain type of behavior that the NFL is trying to rid itself of over time and obviously insulted a lot of different people. You know, and we asked a question earlier on Monday Night Countdown, did this affect the players' performance against Chicago? It had to. And so as the players hear this, because most of the times you have Tuesday off, so we're sitting in our homes right now Monday night gathering all this news, and we're trying to process it, but at the end of the day, we know as players we're going to move forward. So now in the locker room, instead of everybody whispering, hey, do you think John is this, do you think John is that, now we can digest it, we can deal with it, but most important thing for Mark Davis and the Las Vegas Raiders, they need to figure out who the interim coach is going to be, and let's move forward because we still have a long season to play. And I think that's the best thing for the players. Right. That's why something had to be done. And I think this all happened so quickly that they're probably putting it all together now. Mark Davis had no idea. He didn't go into work thinking who's going to be my interim head coach. He thought, how am I going to handle a situation with somebody who at one point meant a lot to this city yes, and organization yes. to hire. He wanted John Gruden in the worst way. It was who his father once hired. Yes. And so this was personal and emotional for him and John Gruden to be out as the Raiders head coach. But in the end, ultimately, this was the way we all knew it Adam, was going to go. I believe it'll be his special teams coach, Rich Bisacci. Rich Bisacci. Okay. There you go, Susan. The assistant head coach now and oftentimes special teams coaches do become interim coaches just because they're dealings with the entire team. Makes a lot of sense. I know Coach Bisaccia from Tampa. Uh, he can coach all aspects of the team. He knows he has a relationship with all the players. He will do an outstanding job. He's been wanting to be a head coach on some level. So this is, again, John has to deal with his own issues. This is an opportunity for Rich moving forward. And there's good men in that organization. Rich Basaccia, Gus Bradley, Rob Marinelli. There are some good men for the Raiders. They will figure out a way to lead these men forward. And for John Gruden, um, I don't want people to think that John is the only person out there that's doing this. Okay, we just saw one person's email. So let this be a lesson to a lot of people out there. What's done in the dark 
eventually comes to the light. My mother told me that a long time ago, and it's amazing over all these years, it continues to happen over and over and over. And we think about how many people in this organization, his actions yes. now impact yes. players and coaches, people who all put their trust in the head of the organization. We'll be back.